Welcome to the final episode of Solo. In the previous episode, we soloed Virago for full Elite Tectonic, and Elite Tectonic wasn't the only thing we got either. But in this video, we're gonna turn our attention to Telos. I've got a max and rage of right around 1200%, and to me, we can't end this series without at least taking that a little bit higher. And by a little bit higher, I mean as high as you can possibly go. It's time to push, and I won't be stopping until I've got the Golden Warden title and 4000% in rage. So buckle up, and let's get to it. Also, we're not gonna go back to Solo Solek. Just so you guys know, we've done five Solo Solek kills in a row, which is really, really sick, and I'm very proud of that. The problem is, it's so much, it's so much four ticking and it's so much prayer flicking for so long. One, it tires me out, and two, it's such a waste of runes. Oh, also, I did some, I did some math about Telos. This is gonna make you guys really sad. You know, I've got the full book and it's really sick. If we go in with a full book, if we go in with a full book to 4K Telos, he's gonna be able to one shot us through prayer because the full book makes you take extra damage when it procs, which means we're gonna have to use the Jas book. Or a Scrimshaw, one of the two. Don't know which one. I, off the top of my head, I think the Jazz book will be better, but if we're unlucky, it could be worse. Why not the win book? Because it's bad. Goodbye. Okay, three in a row. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, yeah, we're not even, we're not even supposed to be at Telos yet. Like I'm just practicing. <laughs> yeah, I want you guys to know, I already have two of these and I am, Pet an STB off dormant title, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll take it, <laughs> I guess. Wait, I'm cracked enough, I'm cracked enough, I'm cracked enough. I'm cracked enough? <laughs> <laughs> Might be the lamest thing I've ever done in my life. I like turned my head as I was trying to corner Telos. Ah, good stuff. Hey, look, we did volcanics. My jazz book just hit a 20k! Somebody clipped that! It actually works! So we can bait out a jazz book proc, we can hit the minions, and all of the minion damage channels onto Telos. Oh, that's so sick! That actually works! I'm so happy about that. That's sick! Wait, can I kill this undercade? What? Wait, we're actually cracked! That's a sub five. <laughs> Bro, stable client is stable rotational integrity. He's cracked. Bro, we're popping the heck off. Woo, yeah, we've had volcanics all day. Straight volcanics, that is 1500% in rage, done. Life is hard. <laughs> Life is so hard. Gaming. Woo, not bad. Oh, let's go, dude! Get in! Actually, get in, dude! It's too easy! Yeah, so now we need two more orbs and a DSTV, and then we have something I can actually use. Or we can make a Staff of Slinky if we really need to, but, uh, yeah, that's really sick. Let's keep going. I can just cade through the whole virus! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Orb number two! <laughs> All right, let's go, uh, let's go a full orb set and four kills. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Bro, we literally have had four drop. Wait, four kills, three drops. Welcome to day one of the push. We actually probably should have streaked that one. Um, well, we have <laughs> three of them and a ZGS now. Choxy, thank you so much for the brand new sub to the channel. That is extremely, extremely kind of you. Thank you. Bro, we're just getting 450? Dude, we're getting so nice with it. <laughs> My stun splashed. Well, first death in a very long time. Guess we'll run it back. Wait, that's 1700. Let's go. We're actually flying. Keep going. That was not stonks. <laughs> that is also not stonks. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, ha! Ah! Bro, it's already dead. <laughs> Bye, Telos! 
Did I win? <laughs> oh, this game is too easy. <laughs> Okay. All right, that's one nine 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 done. Okay. Uh, well, we should claim here, right? Yeah, we should claim here. Cool. It's two K time. We have a few traditions here at the RS Guy Productions. Bad PVMing is not a tradition. The main tradition we have, and we've had this for many, 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 many years, back in like 2019, 2020. Every achievement title kill at Telos has to be done with no food. So we're gonna get a 2K no food here for 2K, and then we're gonna keep pushing. Well, 2004, the year that Editor Koji was born. Um... <laughs> Dude, splashing is so much fun. <laughs> Bro, where did my hammer go? Hello, <laughs> dropped the hammer on me. Oops. Can you get this kill second so nap? Yes. I can. Oh, I missed my shield dome. Unlucky. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Resonance. <laughs> I mean, we're only 15 minutes into attempts, but this should have this should be done by now. This should be like super done by now. Wait, I did it, bro! My book was off the whole kill. I'm so stupid. I'm actually a dumbass. But uh, hey, that's 2K done. Yay! We got the silver word and title. Well, we should probably continue pushing. 2014, the actual year Kochi was born. Alrighty. Rob? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ow. Alright, chat. We got 10 art caskets. Let's open them all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I'm now the proud owner of nine fortunates. Oh boy. But that's 2100. Done. Calculated. Alrighty, that's 2200 done. Let's keep pushing. That's 2300%. That should have been like, it should have been like 80k. Must have had a good bookmark or something. <laughs> okay. Is that even worth claiming? You know what? I don't care. <laughs> 2405. Ali Z. Mizami. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh shit, I don't have Astaroot! That's not winnable. That's not winnable! Ah, rip! Ah, <laughs> oh, life is so hard, dude. I was like, why can't I entangle? Oh yeah, yeah, Astaroot's the thing that you need to entangle. <laughs> Feels good to be losing Telos Uniques on an Iron Man. That's a good feeling. We did also lose a, a Staff of Siske, Dormant, because I ran out of runes. Oh! Okay, we're now. Wait, 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 wait. That's the pet. Here's how this works. We are now DSGB off dormant title. So when I click on this right now, and it's an SGB. Okay. Have I heard the good news about the Ring of Vigor? The good news is that Reddit stopped screaming about the 50 cent pay increase. That is the only good news out of the Vigor change. Bro, they added them. It's like they had a file folder. It's like, it's like, so, so this CMT went on vacation, right? And it's like they left a file folder that said, if Reddit gets lit on fire, open this up. And they opened it up and all it said, it was a, a text document in Comic Sans that just said, permanent ring of vigor passive. And then in brackets, just trust me, bro. It worked, but <laughs> divert. Hit me, please hit me. Thank you. I'm so cracked and I'm so bad at the same time. That was so pog. But then it. <laughs> Chat spamming saved. 
<laughs> There's a delay. That was really good. That was so clean. Do have supplies? Uh, kind of. I don't have, like, all the supplies, but that is 2,600% done. Keep pushing. That was a good kill. Woo! Good stuff. And that is a corrupt orb coming in. Get in, dude. Woo! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm even more so sorry. Oh my god, that's Storm and Title 10. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What? That was so scuffed. That was so scuffed. I don't deserve any of that. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it, but I'm taking it! Done! Dormant title, done! On the soul only Iron Man. Let's freaking go, dude! Clip it! That's so sick. <laughs> Alright, click the Saren God Bow. Make the Saren God Bow. Oh, what's this gonna do to my Death Goss, though? <laughs> Are we sure we want this? It's gonna be really bad for my Death Goss. Of course we want this. Let's go! That's going to make our kill so much smoother, too, because I can chuck one of the NFP5. Do I have anything with precise six on it? I can just disassemble. Wait! Could I not disassemble the Nox? All right. To get base precise six. <laughs> See you, idiot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm so dead. I'm so f***ing dead. Ah! No, my run! Oh, no! Oh, it's a disaster! It's a P4 entry disaster! All right, three in a row. Good stuff. We have stabilized. Oh! I... Okay, I guess we could. We go. Yeah, that's... When I turn for my ant, I cannot afford to get punched. Back to back? Dude, I kind of want them. Low key. Actually, no, Arch Glaze is a thing. Never mind. We're good. All right, that is 2,800% done and four kills in a row as well. We'll take it. 2,900% done. Let's keep climbing. We're actually so nuts. That was disgusting. That was so sick. <laughs> On a 12 kill streak. We're actually popping off today. I don't even know what to say. We are straight. Popping off today on a 12 kill streak. We got a volcanic orb. I'm gonna claim that thing and we're gonna keep pushing. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Wait, I double died. Oh, that's so sad. That was going so well, too. All right. Ooh, nice done. I thought that was an orb. <laughs> Wait, that's 3k done. Okay, cool. Um, This feels like a dumb thing to risk, but. We're going to uh, continue going. Dude, I'm not even going to end them. I'm just going to kill the boss. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> ah! Does that count? Wait. Mm. All right. Editor Kochi, can you put up the definition of hubris on the screen? Just hubris. <laughs> Oh, life is so hard. <laughs> Bro! Okay, so what happened there is sometimes what Telos will do is if you stun at the wrong time, Telos will actually freedom and attack earlier. So he attacked the tick earlier than his cycle, which is, that's by the way, the exact reason why Dreadnips are bad. Beautiful. Actually beautiful back there, That was a really good kill, actually. Dude, that's like a max cash deck. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take those, I suppose. <laughs>Okay. Oh, I don't have disrupt. Watch, I'm gonna die to a golem right on drop. Watch this. The first, it's gonna be a green golem right next to me. One shot me from full HP. No green golem! Ha! Ha! Five 
Oh, one. That was a really good kill time. That, oh, I want to claim that so bad. <laughs> that is 3,100% done. But more importantly, tune in in five minutes when we, <laughs> when we lose all of our wine. Which is fair. Like, what we're going to do is we're just going to secure a bunch of sponsors. Kind of like what we've done on YouTube, where, like, we've got a medium length slash long term partnership with NordVPN and we'll do some stuff like that similar for the stream and then as soon as I put pen to paper chat I'm gonna become a chess streamer full time and EOF number three is done so I've gone for the hammer we're not gonna put the hammer in it just yet because it actually cost me an invent space because my hammer right now is both my hammer and my bladed dive it's both in one but uh, yeah, whenever our hammer is close to breaking, we're 19%, probably when it's like 5% or so, we'll chuck it in there, and then we can continue pushing. I'm dead. <laughs> I missed one prayer flick. Well, that was a good start. Could practically just like instigate if I wanted to. Wow, okay. I'm so stupid. It's a stupid way to go down. I thought my pet was uh, a golem coming to kill me. <laughs> that was really scary. I was like, wait, because <laughs> they walk kind of the same way. Uh, that is 3,200% complete. And we're going to keep pushing. There's a slight chance today's going to be a bit of a rough one, boys. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm just, ha! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on one today. Everything's fine. All right, that was the last death of the day. Was that a bad time to join the stream? You can't even call it a bad time. My mouse is broken! Bro, my mouse is zooming! What the? Bro, my, bro, what is? Synapse. Synapse! Uh! What the? What is going on? My, ah! My mouse is zooming! Kills a kill. Hey, that's 3,300% done. Not too bad. And we'll keep pushing. Ooh, orb. We take those. Oh, all of these are so close. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's so much money. Wait, we're rich. That's max cash. That's like actually max cash. That is 3,500% in reach. Tell us. Wow, dude, it's just the autos. That's crazy. Just hit me like five times in a row. Just bad luck. That's okay. <sighs> Bro, what? <laughs> what the? Hello? That is 3,600% done and we keep pushing nice little kill streak in there we're gonna keep going <gasps> 881 life points remained how many in a row is that we're actually flying <laughs> that would be seven in a row and that would be a beautiful volcanic orb get in there dude get in Yeah, we're gonna do food this. I think I can do it. Oh my resolution! I didn't prep. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try. You know, we'll try it. Whatever. <laughs> okay. You know, what? even if I had 10k HP, I would have died there. That's. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I was too good of a kill to not try it, man. I had to. I had to try it. No fucking way! No fucking way! No fucking what? Bro, when I get heart disease, I blame Twitch chat. Also, I grabbed way too much butter. So we're just gonna. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Holy. 
Holy oof, dude. That was bad gelt. But that's 3,700% done. Keep it going. Okay, that is 3,800% done. That is not an orb, and we're gonna continue. Beautiful. Beautiful kill. And that is a corrupt orb, too. We take those. We absolutely take those. Oh, I missed my stun. Oh, no. Please, don't. We're in trouble, chat. We're in... No, let's give you a wheel spin. And then I have to do something that I don't want to do. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay. I don't have a dren. <laughs> well, that is going to be a wheel spin. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Please. Not more butter. Not more butter. No more butter. We're fine. No. No. Goodbye. Sweet Zaro Squad Sword. <sighs> that was pain. That was so much pain. Get in, dude. Beautiful kill. Perfect stunning. And that is 3,900% done. Locked and loaded. Let's keep pushing. Bang. Done. Whew, good kill. Good drop. Holy moly. It's zero GP. We take those. Make a fine addition to my collection. Whew, good stuff. Ooh, even better stuff. We take those. Get in. Look at this inventive loot. That's nuts. Dude, what a sick kill. <laughs> get in, dude. Oh, double get in, dude. We take those. We take those. <laughs> We're just straight shotting this. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Over a year ago, I lost my hardcore Iron Man, Fast Drag 1405, to a fatal client crash. It was devastating to spend over two years on something and to have it disappear in an instant, oh, no. so close to the final goal. But out of that tragedy was an opportunity to truly challenge myself in a way that few had and to push the upper bounds on what was possible in RuneScape as an account that had to play alone. From the ashes of Fast Drag rose Stable Client, my solo only Iron Man. The plan for this series was always to take this account as far as possible with regard to difficult PVM challenges, theory crafting new methods to take on more while meeting the confines of the account restrictions. It was never about grinding, it was about pushing. Over the past year, we've challenged ourselves immensely from soloing Beastmaster for raids abilities to taking things up a notch and soloing Solak. Virago, and finally pushing Telos as far as we possibly can. Solo Angel of Death isn't feasible within my account restrictions without more power creep, and the same can be said about 4k Arch Glacier and solo hard mode Virago, and that makes this the right time to say goodbye to this series. Could it come back in the future with new content releases and new upgrades? Potentially, but I wouldn't bank on it. It's time for a fresh start, and it's time for a new challenge, a different challenge, a challenge where dying costs everything. So with all that said, welcome to the end of Solo. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing today? I hope everyone is good. Everyone is well. How are we doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone is good. Everyone is well. Today's a sad day, man. This is it. We, uh, I was thinking about it this morning. It was four years ago. I was on Christmas break. And that is when I had the initial idea for Fast Drag. We started the series in January. And that whole, like, last two weeks of December was kind of coming up with the base idea for it. Of a, of a solo only Iron Man. And uh, yeah, 
I think all good things need to come to a close, and this is the right time for me and for all of us to move on to uh, to a new adventure. So this is going to mark the finale of the solo series. In order to do that, you know, there is, you know, a bit of an expectation. You got to make it a good ending, right? You got to end off with a bang. Any achievement kill, you can't bring food. What's food? It's not allowed. Which means right here, right now, we are going to be going for 4,000% Enraged Telos, the Golden Warden title with no food to wrap the series. So let's get it. Oh no, I've already signed. Okay, wait, we're dead. We're dead, we're never dead. Wait, ha! Oh no, I'm so dead. Now we're fine. I just, I, I lost count of the autos on P2, which is why that hurt a bit, but it's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> wait, we literally would have had it if I disrupted. <laughs> we literally would have first tried that. Oh, that's so sad. All right, we're gonna back. <laughs> that's it. Two tries, dude. Come on. Come on. Done. <laughs> Actually done. That's too easy. That is too freaking easy, dude. <laughs> Alright, what's the loot? Imagine getting stone spirits for your 4k kill. Couldn't be me. We popped off. We actually popped the heck off. We popped off such a pop off. What a performance. No, no. We popped off so hard. We actually just popped off. We actually popped off so hard. That was nuts. That was actually nuts. That was so sick. Okay. First off, we're going to do a little bank video because ignore the first tab. Editor, take out the first tab. Let's take a look at the bank. We got some herbs. Look at all the dragon hide. Dude, that's overall 100,000 dragon hide. 644 extraneous draconic energy, 24x tectonic energy in case we needed to repair, lots of ceramic scales, magical thread, 23k dragon stones, 380 vital sparks, never went for limitless. We got 25,000 battle saves. We got like 40, 50,000 bolt tips. Just absolutely nuts. Next tab. These are all of the 99 capes and 120 capes that we got on the account. We ended up not maxing. We got very, very close, which is pretty cool. Will we max it someday? Maybe. I, I feel like probably not. Next tab. These were just some of the extra rares we ended up with. So an extra Greater Flurry, extra G-Conk, some Boots, extra Ritual Shards, extra Dematic, 23 Dragon Hatchets, and five extraneous Scriptures of Gas. Next tab. This is all of the Telos loot we got, pushing up to 4,000% in rage. It's almost a full invent of loot, um, which is absolutely massive. Very, very cool to see this many uniques. Next tab. This is all of our gear. So we got our full custom feature masterwork that we mined and smith for off stream. The exit kill from the Zucklog, the Scythe went 700 dry on, and the dry gores that I did range camping with a Nox bow to get shortly after losing the hardcore. We've got the full elite tectonic that we soloed Virago for. The blast diffusion boots that I spent literally like four months or five months grinding Slayer for. The Carapac wrist straps, the FSOA that took us over 700 solos. Our Nox staff, which was our second Nox weapon on the account. The Stab of Light, the Elder Wand, and in my opinion, the star of the entire series, the Attuned Crystal Orb that we brought with us for every single part of the journey, including things like 4K Telos and Solarago, could not have done them without it. We got the Serenic that I haven't even properly perked because it's been Mage and Melee Escape since the point that I got each invention, some Fleeting Boots. The Seren God Bow that helped our Telos push a ton. The Wyvern Bow that we got off task. The four Rune Pouches that I grinded Runecrafting for. Our two spirit shields and the Elijah that took us 2,400 corp kills to get our hands on. Our set of Rots shields that we sold Rots for in episode number one. We've got our set of three books. Obviously, don't have the big book because I have not done Croesus yet. We've got a Death Witch bracelet, a Ring of Death, our three EOFs for Guthic Staff, Stat Hammer, and Armital Battle Staff, our Cinder Banes, some extra boots, and then we've got our rings. Biggest one there being the Reaver Ring. Final tab of the bank. Is actually just a revs tab. This is just a uh, a way to show how ridiculously dry we went on that stat hammer. When we grinded revs for three straight weeks, on stream every single day, and then off stream every single evening after it. And all the brawling gloves that I will probably never, ever use. Now, to hit a wealth evaluator. 
this is going to be wrong. It's going to be off by a bunch of DP because it doesn't really work well with above max cash items. But our total wealth on this account is apparently about 16 billion coins. And if we count the three Saren God Bows, which we should, and the FSOA, it's probably a little bit closer to 26 bill. That is the total value of our bank, which is uh, absolutely nuts, honestly, for an account that we Iron Man for a couple years. That's about 26 billion coins. All right, next thing to go through, the kill counts. We could do boss by boss if you guys want to. Yeah, why don't we? Ambi, 32, got nothing. We got 100 Black Snarts. That was for the Dragon Slayer ability before we went to ED2. Araxi, we have 777 kills. Um, one Fang, three eyes, one web, and most of the pets, but not all. Arch Glacier, 175 kill count. Um, I got the book. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. Arch Glacier, I, I found it. It was a good boss, but a bit of a snooze, and melee upgrades didn't do anything for us on this series and didn't give us access to any new content, so we uh, we held off. ED2, I've done 105 runs with two flurries, no furies, and no barges. It is a 1 in 80 for a unique um, per boss, three bosses per run, so I should have more codices than this, but these things happen. We got Rots, if you remember episode one, where we got five shields in 86 solo kills, and no one could be mad about it, or be like, you don't deserve it because they were solo kills, which was really cool. I did a total of 28 BM solos, nothing to show for it, but the Acto Primeval boots on our feet. But these were actually useful. These helped us do more Beastmaster solos. So this was actually a really good drop to get, even though it wasn't the codex we wanted, um, we ended up getting our two codices with Techie. Next up, we've got the Chaos Elemental. And funnily enough, I am actually D2H and Ellie pet off of the title. So if we were to go and get the Chaos Elemental pet, we would, we would have the full title because of how dry we went at Revenants. Next boss is Corp. 2,391 kills, 40 Spirit Shields, 14 Elixirs, one Ellie, one Spectral, and of course, the pet. Dagonoth Kings, 2,243 kills. All of these kills just about were at Dagonoth Rex. As you can see here, 18 Warrior Rings, 10 Zerker Rings. This was, of course, to get the Reaver Ring. Howler, 425 kills. We got no orbs, but three wands. Most of them turned into planted feet. And of course, a Crest of Saren that we turned into our helmet um, that we used for the majority of the series until we got Elite Tectonic. Calvite King, 241 kills. This place was awful. I hated this place. And uh, I'm glad we don't have to go back. Next boss, Karapak, 702 solos, three G-Conks, six Jaspics, one pair of wrist wraps, and one full staff. Next up, we've got Next. I've done 457 kills. We're 15 out of 21 for log. I've got pet. I'm missing a bunch of Virtus stuff. And this was mostly to get our Torva and our Essences, both for Elite Tectonic, as well as our custom fit trimmed Masterwork. QBD, 288 kills, two hard cry men deaths, and I'm pet off title. Very exciting. Next up, we're gonna go to Raksha. 439 kills. I am Shadow Spike and Gricko off title. I've had four diverts and one chain. Chain is the last unique that we had. So no Gricko for me. For the Rex Matrix, I did 81 kills and got my Heart of Berserker and then I never went back. Now, some of the spicier ones. We've got Solak, of course, 10 Grimoire pages, a time of 22, 22.2, and no Grims because, you know, Kochi took the Grim. Our final Telos kill count, 807 kills, 4,000% in rage, and the Dormant title. We also did lose one Dormant staff to scale while streaking because I make poor choices. And I guess we'll never be finishing this uh, this six orb set. Over to Zuck. 19 hard mode, 26 normal mode. The full log with two magma tempests and two scriptures of full. This is the luckiest I think I've ever been in this game. That entire sequence was just insanity. It was absolutely nuts. Next up, we've got Vindicta. 1600 kills, one crest, eight lances. These all just turned into aftershocks because my magic gear is best in slot part. The final boss to go through is Virago. We completed a total of 14 Virago solos for 108 tectonic energy and the Vitalis pet, which is by far, I think, the uh, the achievement I'm most proud of on this account. I think that's the coolest thing that this account has. In the last three and a half years, we have spent 150 days, 20 hours, and 32 minutes in the world. That's about an eighth of the total time that one could have spent in the game, which actually, that's not too bad. That's an average of three hours a day. Yeah, that seems actually relatively healthy. That's not bad. We're not gonna talk about how I used to only play this account two days a week. Nope, 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 no, we will not. This is totally the account that I've spent all the time on. Chat, team, friends. This is serious. I mean, we worked on this account for over three years. 
150 days online is absolutely nuts considering almost all that was streamed. Um, but I did want to say, um, honestly, I just, I hope you all enjoyed. I, uh, I think now's the right time to call it, but I had a lot of fun. I made a lot of really good memories on this account. This is the first account where I was like, oh, I can actually not stream PVMing every single day and people will still have a good time. I think, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with where we took the account after losing the hardcore and then launching solo. I think those 20 ish, whatever episodes for the solo series, are some of the best content that I've ever put out. I think it was a really, really good series. So I'm super excited that, uh, you know, we got to end on a high note. We got to pop off at Telos, get the Gold Warden title, and this account is now going to remain dormant.